This will hopefully be a short review. I just want to check out if this USB to RS-232 or RS-232 to USB converter works. It was already featured in a mailbag video card there, link in the description. So let's get cracking. Okay, I just plug it into my notebook and we will see what happens. I haven't installed any of the software on the CD and nothing at all happens. That's interesting. Uh, let's have a look into the device manager if something cropped up there. And yes, there it is, SCOM5, the USB serial, CH340, the, <laughs> the standard go-to USB to serial converter chip that you also find. Yeah, uh, works without installing any drivers. Um, that you also find on most Ardu Chinese Arduino clones. So yeah, I had already that driver installed and I guess it's also available on this disc. Uh, but is it also working with some device? Hmm. And it works. I connected my O1 power supply with a dead display. Sorry, didn't come around yet to send it back to the vendor uh, via the serial port at the back. And uh, now I can send to it while I'm using the Arduino serial monitor commands like output question mark. And it says to me output one, output is on. So, and I can say out, out, put zero, and it switches the output off. And while doing that, I realized there's a programming manual available for the O1 power supply to program it via the serial port at the back, but there is no software, really remote control software available. So the second part of the review, as soon as I come around sending it back to the vendor, will probably not that long. But back to the review of our little RS-232 to USB converter here. I meanwhile cobbled together my own serial data cable so I can attach oscilloscope probes at the transmit and receive line because I'm suspecting the signal levels coming out here are not exactly to the standard. But let's see. Um, single capture and I'm querying the power state. Uh, the output state, output question mark. Okay, we captured something. Let's zoom in. So the yellow trace is obviously the transmit line from my notebook to the power supply. And you can see, yeah, a low is about -ish zero volts and a high is about -ish 4.5 volts. So one volt per division which is completely <laughs> out of RS-232 specs. There it says a low is between minus three and minus 15 volts, and a high is between plus three and plus 15 volts. And yeah, let's see what my O1 does at the same when it replies. So blue is obviously the transmit line or receive line from the O1 power supply to my notebook. Okay, uh, they make an effort and have here about yeah, minus 0.8 volts at the low and high is yeah, up a little bit above 5 volts, but yeah, 
also not to RS-232 standards. And while we're at it, the raising edge coming from the Ovon is about, yeah, depends how you calculate it, between 7.5 and 10 volts per microseconds. That's well within the maximum limit specified in the RS-232 specification of 30 volts per microsecond. Falling edge is 7.5 volts per microsecond, also okay. <laughs> the rising edge from our USB converter is over 50 volts per microsecond. So again, totally out of the RS-232 specs. Same holds true for the falling edge, above 50 volts per microsecond, totally out of spec. I was kinda expecting something like that, not exactly from the Ovon, but uh, yeah, from this little converter, because you see here on the back side, uh, <laughs> there's nothing. Yeah, there just traces the connection to the nine pin connector here and yeah, the wires from the cable coming in and on the back side we have again nothing, a blob chip to be exact, a blob CH340 serial to USB converter and yeah, maybe, maybe there's a little capacitor or something at the very edge here, but uh, yeah. That's it, that's it. I just noticed there's actually a type number embossed here on the RS-323 connector. It's HL-340, uh, yeah, and the chip inside is CH340. And all the CH340 in here does is converting USB to 5 volt serial, okay? <laughs> not to RS-232, <laughs> at least not RS-232 according to specs. Just as a matter of course, let's have a look what's on that driver disk here. Yeah, just as expected. They are just the drivers for the CH340 on this disk and that's all. So that was the review of the cheapest RS-232 to USB converter you can get on eBay. Uh, yeah, bottom line, it's not an RS-232 to USB converter. It's just a USB to serial 5 volt converter. And while it does work, for example, with my O1 power supply, which is also not completely RS-232 compliant, but at least they made an effort, uh, I suddenly wouldn't try to connect that to an industrial RS-232 device that actually puts out signal levels of plus minus 15 volts. You might fry your little converter chip in here and subsequently uh, damage your USB interface chip or some electronic in your notebook or PC or wherever you connect that thing. Uh, that said, it does the job for my application and it costs me a few bucks. Yeah, refer to the mailbag video. Uh, there was already a card link in the description. Till next time, bye.